Hello YouTubers, right, uh, you're watching Crafts at Home with uh, Lisa, my name is Lisa, hello, and today we're going to look at these wonderful things. Now, I got these off of, <coughs> somebody off of um, social media, and I guess they're supposed to be used for shoes and things like that. Do please do excuse my, uh, my putting it together scenario. I wanted to make sure it stuck well, but look at this fantastic idea. This is the drawer that comes out the inside. Now I paid £5 for eight of these, which was a very, very, very good price. But like I say, it was on a sale site on social media. So do have a look on there because you can pick some great stuff up on there. Just quickly when I'm showing you what I've, I've been sort of located and got. This was the next thing I got. These are trays, which I managed to put my clay into, if you can see there, handle. Um, I've masked off the front because they're so long I can't, I haven't got any paper that's long enough to do that other than, I suppose I could use wallpaper, which is what I'm going to use in a moment. Um, but I thought I'll mask it off and I was going to paint the front. So I've got, I bought five of those, which I've currently got in, um, my husband bought, uh, made me a, a unit that holds on to that sort of thing. Okay, so I'm just going to move that up so we've got some more lights. So today I want to cover these. I'm going to cover just the face of the drawer, just this piece, and through this very awkward handhole, and we're going to do the outside and the end. Okay, so that's the plan whilst we're on video. Now I wanted to go right from the start with you, so let's put this down here for a moment and put this down here now i thought this would work really well i've got my large sheets i'd be able to find something in here not true i can't find anything that's long enough um which is a shame because i've got some beautiful beautiful ones i've been waiting for large boxes to cover large boxes with let me see if i can find one They really are beautiful. They're like big, really big um, roses. And I'm not really a flowery kind of person, but I do like these ones. This book came from, I'm not entirely sure where, it might have been Hobbycraft or Shieldbrook, somewhere like that, um, many, many, many years ago. And I've used them and used them, and now the whole book has fallen apart pretty much. There, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The trouble is I haven't got anything that I can use it on. The boxes that I'm about to we're about to have a go at is too big. And everything else I've been wrapping and doing and, and covering is too small. One day we will find something. I don't know what. So none of these are going to work. So we're going to move them out of the way. And I'm going to put them over here. And we're going to use some wallpaper. Now this is my bedroom, actual bedroom wallpaper. Um, as you can see, it's perfect for what we want. I've rolled it the other direction so it's flat. Um, <coughs> so to start with, I'm just going to turn it round. It is huge. And I want to get it so it's just... Oh, no, we're not doing that bit, are we? Could have told me, folks. <coughs> get it like this. While I'm lining this up, um, I would just like to... Um, say I've been doing a lot of research into me my videos and how I make my videos and what I might be doing wrong or what I might be doing right and <clears throat> it's been very sight insightful but when you watch my video today have a look oh dear have a look and see what you think if you can figure out what I've changed, which would be great, because that means it's working and, and, and I'm doing as I should be. Oh, bear with me folks, I just need to get this bit straight. I'm just going to put a little scissor mark in there if I can find a pair of scissors. I'm going to cut it just shorter than the box because I want to put it in panels. So this will go all the way around and then we'll do the front and, and the back and whatnot. So if you can see that little mark there. Let's move that off of here before I uh, 
make a mistake. Um, yeah, I've been <coughs> looking into it to see if I could find ways to make it something more engaging with you guys. So please do watch and tell me what you think because I really would love to know. Okay, so I'm just folding this because I don't have anything that's this sort of length. The trouble is my piece of wrapping, um, wrapping paper, wallpaper was already an easy, an even cut. So I can't <clears throat> make it any straighter than that, I guess. Which I think might be shorter than what it should be. Right, so when I cut it, I'm just going to make sure I cut it. Oh no, that should be alright actually, because it's more... It, was... it won't matter if it's a little bit shorter, and you can see a little bit of the, the cardboard, because, I mean, that doesn't bother me, but I've got a little washi tape, so if it, it does bother too much, I can... Um... Right, now when you do that with your scissors, it blunts them. So just be aware, that otherwise you might be disappointed and it might end up filling your scissors. Yeah, sorry, gone off the trail there. It was to find out if I could engage with you more and make it more interesting for you guys. Well, it would be if you could see what I was doing, that would be great, wouldn't it? Um, so if you think that you can see what I'm doing that's different, please leave a message. If you think I'm doing something that's... I could do better, again, please leave a message, because um, I would really, really love to know. Okay, oh. while we're on the just this sort of, the ways and means of, of work, the world, um, I'm going to have to put some washi tape on there, I think. Could you please hit my, the like button and the subscribe button? Now this is very, very important to me. Um, I haven't been doing it for very long and as I'm sure you can appreciate it's not the easiest thing to do and getting subscribers up. I'm doing fantastic and the subscribers that I already have have been amazing so thank you very much but it would be great to get it up just that little bit more. Right so I'm going to start by putting one piece of tape right on the edge there that way then it sticks really nicely to the end so my scissors are a bit stiff from cutting this sort of thing no, they aren't really, there they are a little pinking sheer thing right now I'm going to put some right the way around the box where I want it to stick this is really important I probably would say to you, don't go round in one go because it means you'll have a whole square that's like, well, it'll be out and sticky because you'll be pulling off the band. Okay, so I do mine in two bits, round like that. And there we go, there's one of my grandchildren, or my only grandchild at the moment. So I'm going round, right round like that, all the way round which we'll do the other end the same okay and I'm going to do stick some straight on these square here on this piece probably a couple down the middle on this edge on this edge along here probably one at the middle along here along there along there and a couple down the middle again and the same this side so I'm going to get that done and masked up and then I will come back to you and we will um have a little look at how we're going to stick this on and make it look the part. Speak to you in a second. Right, hello YouTubers. So I have, with a roll of double-sided sticky tape, I ordered nine rolls of these off of Amazon. And they all came through and I've got loads of different sizes. Um, there's, I mean, there's, there's so many rolls, it's brilliant. Um, 
it just keeps going on. I think there was 16 rolls altogether. I think it was like £7 something. So it's very, very cheap commodity to use and to cover the box it would be great. This is just old leftover wallpaper from my bedroom, like I said. So all I need to do now is just make sure it sticks on here really well. So I'm going to start by probably doing this top bit here. So I'm going to peel all of these off which is my pet hate, anybody who knows me, or if you've watched my videos before. Okay, I think that'll be the best way around. Now I've gone right the way around the box like this. I don't mind using this because it was such a cheap commodity and it's going to look so, so nice. And it's like, I haven't cost me anything from the wallpaper. If you wanted to, I mean, at the moment it's it's obviously very difficult with the lockdown and everything. But if you wanted to, you could go to B and Q or Home Base or any hardware store um, and see if they've got any samples. Sometimes you can rip the end of the sample roll off, um, and they'll let you you take it home to see if it sort of works with with what you've got. So that's sort of a, a good good thing to do um, and then obviously you've got enough then to cover cover your your box I mean these are particularly large ones I'm guessing you should I'm going to peel the side off as well because I just realized my ends come down the sides as well so rather than end up with them stuck down and then the middle's not um, not being unstuck now this tape is extremely good. I went round and I made sure it was really well pushed down. Um, just sort of go along, rub your hands along it and, and do whatever it is you need to do to make sure it's well stuck. If you can't get it off, like most of the time I can't get it, get it off, use a pair of tweezers, that pulls off the corners. So that works out really well. Okay, right, now push all that out of the way because you don't want that to stick anyway. So this is the first bit that I've got here. Now what I've done is I've put a piece of double sided sticky tape on that edge. Although it's going to go up and stick on the edge of one of these, I want to make sure, um, hang on, am I doing this right? Just trying to think, you've got to try and figure out where everything sort of goes. And it's a bit of a nightmare because my desk isn't massive. So do excuse me if I make a bit of an error. We will get there though. So what I want to do first is lay that down anywhere on there. Just make sure it's kind of even, like so. Pushed well down. Now try and pull it as tight as you can. on there and then just literally rub the sides I've cut mine a little bit too short but don't worry about that because we can figure that out afterwards I can, I've got washi tapes so I've got all sorts like that right now just rub them the way I find is easier oh my goodness this is so big it's to just put your hand inside the box and then rub from the outside as well look and it just makes sure that you've got no air bubbles and it's just nice and stuck, nice and tight. And then just run your fingers down that corner edge. Just make sure that you've got a nice corner. So that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to do the next side. She says. Oh my goodness, what have I done? Where is it? There it is. It's right down the very bottom there, look. Right. <clears throat> So I'm going to have to pull that off all the way around because um, I want to do this side next, this side here. So I'm just going to peel, <coughs> peel it all off. Now I made a fundamental error, if you can see what I did wrong there, was I made this part go all the way round the end and along, along the body of it. So while I'm just doing this, if you... Uh, Want to see more videos? I've got a lot more coming up. Um, I'm going to make a dog and things like that. So um, support would be great. Like I said earlier, I've, the support I've already had from my subscribers so far has been absolutely fantastic. 
but I really want to hit the 500 mark so please do subscribe hit that subscribe button now down below that would be fab and then you won't miss any more of my videos you can also follow me on Instagram crafts at home with Lisa underscore right so that's <clears throat> now ready to go look so we've, we've picked it all off um, and now we're going to just roll it keep, try and pull it as flat as you can and roll it like I say and then just run your hand inside make sure it's well stuck turn it over and we're going to do that rubbing it inside and out that to me because your hands are, f are sort of flat it holds the box in one area and then we're just going to run our fingers down it just to make a nice core, nice crease there look and nice long there right one more side to go so we'll put this one on next and I know I can see right now it's going to be too long but that's okay because this side don't forget we put sticky on so we're going to stick that side straight down we might have to put another strip, couple of strips of sticky on it goodness me is this stuck well there we go <clears throat> it is extremely good quality this tape so if anybody wants to get any it's off of Amazon um, it's very very good quality it's sticking very very well sometimes you buy cheap, well, cheaper tapes they don't tend to, to stick which is what I was worried about with this one but it actually has worked an absolute dream ok so one more now if you use washi tapes around the edges which we're going to use it's going to make it a lot easier because it's sticky from where we've put the double sided sticky tape so it will help it just stick on there like glue hopefully there we go right I'm going to fold this end in first because I want to make sure that that end doesn't flap down. Okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> make this a corner because it's going to be double covered. Make sure it's well stuck down. And I'm going to put another line of this over the top to make sure that this bit sticks straight over. Okay. I'm going to take it right to the end because I want to make sure. We're going to put words on this box when we're finished. A little bit of decoration. I have bought some. <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat today. I have bought some um, stickers, the see through stickers, which are absolutely beautiful. So, right now I'm going to hold this tight, make sure there's no creases, <coughs> and I'm just going to roll it down. Okay, and we're going to. Oh, there's that tea again, look. Um, just again rub your hands around the inside make sure it's well stuck like so right now I can see instantly that it's not straight I've got more down here than I have up here but like I said to you I know I'd cut it you can see how I cut it wrong there look so I'm just going to go along with the scissors and I'm going to trim that up I'm not worried about too much about the line down this end because like I said I do have some washi tapes which I can use. So I'm just going to cut that away in. Again you're not going to see too much of it because again the washi tape is going to cover that. I just don't want it overhanging. So. Yeah, I've still got a little bit there, look. Just go along with your scissors if you can, just kind of trim it off. If big scissors are too big, try these little, like, pinkiny kind of scissors. See how that just sort of takes that edge off and just neatly tidies it up. I've got it down that edge as well, it's too long. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, what am I playing at? There we go. I'm still not happy quite with this edge here. I'm just going to take a little bit more off there. If you sort of roll it, it rolls upwards. Okay. So I've 
taking that bit off that's better much better okay because that's the bottom so I'm going to make sure that that's <clears throat> a nice tidy edge there and then this bit here I'm just going to take it off fold it under make a nice line it is, I've cut it so unevenly that is because like I say my desk is not very big so it would be very difficult I don't know whether I should take it along there no I'll take it down to there and then that way I can use some double sided sticky tape and make sure that sort of sticks down try and keep this edge a little bit neater if you can okay perfect right put that to one side so there you go there's your edge happy with it. I don't know if I pushed it upwards that would probably make a big um, I have to make a decision here ladies and gentlemen. Let me see if I can make that edge neater. I think that's what's doing it. I need to The trouble is it's still a cut edge. I might take it back to there because it's a, like on a, a corner so you won't see that too much. I'm going to take it back to there I think. And then I could use that as the bottom. Should have done that to begin with ladies and gentlemen. then if it gets too so you don't like it we can just use some those pinking scissors, scissors on them just getting rid of the first bit first <coughs> whoops okay so now we need to just tidy up this edge here so I'm just going to use my little scissors If you push it down like that, it comes, you can see, and you can kind of get it. That was the original plan that I wanted to do with it. So, now if you run a blade, they say, like this, down the edge. It's supposed to get rid of these little bits, but it, I don't see it working. I suppose this is what you see in all the videos that people put on and whatnot and I'm gonna see if we can find something perhaps to put on that at a later date but that's the bottom so you're not gonna see it anyway so this is what we are now left with this box covered got the end we need to do next there so just make sure they're nicely pushed down, really well pushed on. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Now I like this piece because it's got a butterfly on it. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to cut around that so it's not so big. And keep the little spare bits because you, well I'll say they're little but they're actually quite large. But any sort of spare bits just keep because they'll come into their own okay so I'm going to draw around this so we can keep the butterfly about there I think <clears throat> so you just push down get a pen and then just draw around it Like so. Ooh. Like that. 
there you go. Sorry if my head got in there then. Okay. Sorry, I'm wearing a bit of a messy ponytail today. So don't uh, kind of judge me. That would be great. Okay, we're just going to cut it out. That square out, okay? Because we want the... Uh, the butterfly in the middle because I just think it's a beautiful piece, beautiful picture within the picture. So, now it may be that we might have to cut it just a little bit smaller in a minute, which we won't know until we try it and offer it up because we want it to sit just inside the bottom, okay. There we go. Right, let's just get rid of that. Let's get rid of all this as well. Otherwise, we'll never be able to see the desk and it'll get stuck to everything. Okay, I do have to warn you that I've probably used nearly a whole roll of double sided sticky tape. But for the price that it was, I don't mind too much. It's better than I'm paying for. Yeah, it needs cutting. Um, better than paying for boxes that were already covered and that sort of thing. Because I like. Then you can choose which way you want to do it, what you want on there. Lots of things, which I like to be in control of. And they're very expensive when you buy already covered boxes. I find. I've got a guillotine. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. Okay, so that fits with inside it now. So because we're going to use um, washi tape afterwards, <coughs> let's see how much we've got of each one left. Because I use these on a smaller box up there. So let's pick off our double-sided sticky tape. Now I usually sit here when I'm doing this and watch something on my iPad of some description. I'm a bit of a horror fiend, so I like all that sort of thing. Leave in the comments what you do and if you watch or listen to music or anything when you're doing things like this. Um, I'm not a big sleeper, so I you tend to find, if you ask my husband, he'd say, that three quarters of the night I'm up doing this sort of thing and now because I'm in the bedroom I've got a spotlight that I keep on so that's why he always faces the other wall <laughs> bless him okay so write in the comments ladies and gentlemen I'd love to know what you do while you um, do your artwork all right if it's not quite right you can just gently pull it off and it will come off doesn't like it, but it will. There we go. So yes, I'd like to know if you're watching something, or you're listening to music, or or what it is that you do while you're doing your crafting. Or you might just like it quiet. Some people do. It's not me, I've usually got a horror film on in the back or something. At the moment, I'm watching The Walking Dead for the, the whole seasons, again because they have stopped the new episode and series coming out due to the Covid which we were devastated. They released one one episode and that was it. So we were, were absolutely devastated. Right, so there we have it. It's covered. Okay, of a fashion. Obviously we've still got our edges which we're going to sort out and do now. Okay, so let's have a look at the washi tapes we've got. So which way was the bottom and which was the top? Um, that's the bottom. So make sure that's important because I don't want the top with that edging on it that was on here. If the edging is too, um, you find it too bitty, you could run some washi tape down that. So up here on my, oh, on my thing, I've got some like this. Oh, sorry. Okay, which is like oldie worldie writing. Something like this, which is great. Again, off of Amazon, I think they were three ninety nine or four ninety nine for the two. Now I have covered and used my 
um, one of the boxes already with this this stuff and I used a butterfly tape but looking at it I don't think I've got any left um, no so you have we have a choice of there's a gold one now these ones were fairly cheap um, but sticking isn't great but we can run a line of double-sided sticky tape down there to make sure that it does stick if we want to use that one but I don't know that that's let's have a look I don't know if that's really what we're looking for is it it's kind of a bit more oldie worldy so I, that's the sort of the stickers I've got so as well so I want to use those on there um, I will be as well doing a video on I've got a new journal filled up my last one of how to do things because I always make notes of how I, I do things I just sort of start out and having a go at it and then if it works out well I've got notes on, on how to complete it so this one let's have a look now I know these stick well so I unpeeled some of it to have a look at it now oh, let me this is what we've got okay so I'm gonna stick half on there like so stick it down bring it round and stick it down try and keep it straight otherwise you'll end up with creases in there like that but that could be just the edge of the wallpaper because it's much thicker than a normal paper Okay, and then we're going to pull it out a bit more like that. Like that. That's terrible English, isn't it? Like that. And then we're going to go all the way around. We're going to cut this edge off here because it's very uneven. I found that if you can do it all in one hit, that is, that is the best way to do it. Because <clears throat> then it, you've got sort of a less corners that can come up and whatnot. Okay, so let's tidy that edge up there. We might need one, but how is that not even? You're trying to get it even is what you're, you're really looking for. Now, ooh, the great, I was going to say the great thing about washi tape is you can move it. I know it doesn't look like it right now. Okay, I'm going to try moving this one. Ooh. Just moving it in slightly so it kind of meets. There we go. So just go around making sure it's all nice and attached right you're going to cut the corners just up as far as the boxes if you can see that just gently snip it don't snip the box um, you're going to do the same on every corner like so Get as close to the box as you can, and then it'll give a lovely edge. Okay, like that. So each side now, you're just going to roll it under. That's it. Roll it under, like so. Make sure it's nice and stuck. Turn your box around. It's easier if it's up rather than down. <clears throat> okay, turn your box again. rolled under and then just straighten the corners out if they crimp a little bit because they can do um, a little and then just sort of straighten them out and push them in okay now obviously it doesn't matter too much what it looks like on the inside but you don't want it to look a mess okay so that's what you're left with now that's what you've just done so it goes all the way around and it's neatened up that edge massively 
So we're going to do the same again on the back. Now the back's going to be a little bit more difficult because obviously we've got a we can't tuck it in. So we're just going to have to make sure that these corners fold down beautifully neat. Okay, I like to bend mine round like that. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh no. Okay. Right. Stick it down. Right, try and keep it straight, not like what I did on the last one. You'll know if it you'll know if it's straight because there'll be no creases in it. Like so. Right, instantly I can tell that I've come in too far on that one, so I'm going to take it out just a little bit, which has caused a gentle crease there. Although it might be the edging. Yeah, that's the edge of the box. That's the actual box. Okay, and then we're going to come back down this side. And try and marry it up, oh, marry it up down this one side which is very, 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 very close. Okay. Very, very, very close. Right, so we're going to do the same again. We're going to cut the corners. But this time we're going to fold it down as I go. Because it's flat there, I've got to make sure it doesn't crease or anything. And if it does, with the washi tape, just gently push it. And um, let me turn it up that way so you can see. So just make sure it's nicely well put down, stuck down, if you can see that edge. Okay, so we're going to cut this edge here, like that. And then this one we're going to pull in like we did the last one. The other good, really good thing about the washi tapes are because they're washi tapes you can't see really where the edges are which is great okay so we're just going to cut that one perfect and then this one brilliant now you can tell there's a lump there in the middle there's nothing I can do about that it's unavoidable they've all got it um, but generally I don't think that looks too bad at all. So that's what we've got so far then. You can't see where the bottom is and you can't see where the top and I like this, this butterfly here. So the next part we've got is, what have I done with that? There, is this. So what I want to do is, this is going to be really quite a difficult one to do. Um, <coughs> I think I'm going to cut it to this shape here, just on the front here. Let me put this one down out of the way now. Um, I'm going to cut this to the identical size, right size. Then I'm going to put a slit in here and I'm corner, 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 so I can at least fold it in. Or should I cut that out like that? And then we can use washi tape, can't we, like we've done with the other. And that would take care of this bit here, along the top and down the sides here where I've used tape. Because we don't really want that on show. On the inside, there, it doesn't matter because nobody's going to see it when I've finished. Okay. Okay, right. Now, I did cut a pink one earlier on out of a different piece of um, paper, which I didn't end up liking. So that's what we've got. So that actually fits on there pretty much perfectly. Okay, so if I put it there, the only thing is it's a little bit wide there. So let's go along and take that off now. From there, just up a smidgen, it's not much. Okay, around that corner. Now this is a stamp one, so it's easy to, you've got your straight lines sort of on there. Okay, let's see what that leaves us with. So that's what we've got, which I would say is about right. So that's the size we're looking for. 
whoops so let's put this out of the way I've dropped it on the floor bear with me bending down is not so easy anymore right let me get a piece of probably use this our leftover now I quite like the butterfly on this one so let's see if we can incorporate the butterfly somehow it's a bit of a difficult one actually because it's not really big enough to to use it is it what about the rose that would be quite nice wouldn't it it's not wide enough is it right that way that's not too bad. But I'd like this here. Do you see the music? So let's see what else we've got here. Um, the rose with the music. There it is. So let's cut this off. Doesn't have to be neat. There we go. I mean, I've got about three, four rolls of this still left over. I'm very lucky, but my mum's got some dark purple which she's offered me, which I will take her up on her offer. Roll it the other direction, and then you'll find that it will straighten itself out. So like so, and then when you in fact if you the other way to do it is to roll it that way. I'm rubbish at this because when you do diamond art, they always come out and they're like this. And you, I always look at how I have to get my husband to do it. Because I'm rubbish at rolling like that. Right, so here we are. So there's our template. I'm going to put those up there because I don't want to lose them. Right, and this is what I like here. This piece here. I think the way it says postcard there. Um, if you can see that. What's written on there. It's really, really lovely paper. See how it glistens. It's beautiful. It really is beautiful. So let's try and get some. There's a stamp there. Look, look at that. It's my cat. You can hear. Right. So if you hold it down and then look underneath, you'll see what it is that you'll be getting. So I know that I'll be getting music notes there, or I can move it up and have that there and part the rows. Again, hold it one edge and have a look underneath and see what you'll be getting. I like that idea. So you've got some kind of a bit, a chunk of rose in there. Yeah, let's go with that. So I'm going to draw around it like I did before. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate. And I've got eight of these boxes. It was eight for five pounds off of um, social media, one of the selling sites. So it is always worth looking. And if you go to the bottom of your device, whatever it is you're using, and you look on Facebook, somewhere like that, Right, just double check that's what you like and I do like that um, if you go to the um, very bottom there it says marketplace go into that and then go to the very top and type in craft and that's what I do and it brings up all sorts or storage is another good one to type in that's how I found these boxes and they were local as well you didn't go nowhere really to get them which was fantastic So I'm just cutting literally on the black line or just in. Because I don't really want the black line on there. Okay. If you find that you don't like them and you think that they're slightly off shape, use a guillotine. I mean, we, we've had a guillotine for about 150 years now. Same guillotine we've had forever. And my husband actually put, we managed to find, which I was very impressed with, 
um, the spare blade for it and he put that in the other day believe it or not all these years we've had it and he managed to find it so well I knew where it was so that was really good right to cut out the smaller bits like here you're going to want a small like a crimping kind of pair of scissors really because it just takes a small you can twist it where you're doing it perfect look if you saw that okay I can just see the black line on this side so I'm just going to give it a little just a slight trim because I just don't want to there we go and I can just see it on the edge there but other than that right let's get rid of these pieces like I said I don't like getting rid of bigger pieces just like that because there's bits off of it you can take off of it there's this part here Paris badge here beautiful um, you've got all this writing down here and on this bit you've got the stamp you've got the postcode postcard you've, there is so much stuff that to be had off of one piece of wallpaper so it's like this piece you've got the butterfly so it's worth keeping this piece it's a load of silver writing and then again back at the top here you've got the stamp postcard and you've got music um, in there you've got some French stamps it's worth keeping and I like corner bits like that so my husband would tell you I'm a bit of a hoarder but I can't help it right now to cut this inside bit out I was going to use a pair of scissors but I think I'm going to use my blade which is put away nice and safe as my granddaughter comes round as you heard earlier right Ruler. The trouble is my daughter with all the homework we're doing at home at the moment she comes in here and helps us out with my rulers and things and then I can never find them again um, that would work just as well I think that's really dark. I bet it's gone missing right let's use Right, now do be careful with these because obviously they are a blade. But I'm going to use the back of the blade. Okay. And just keep it nice and straight then. If you can see that's really, really wibbly. I'm going to go to the top there. And I've got to go actually, I've got to go there, haven't we? Because otherwise... I don't know who or what they're watching. That's my husband. And then down here... You just want to go just on the outside of the black. Look at that, it makes a much tidier job of it. My blade is from Arteza because I'm a big Arteza fan. So don't forget you need to come round off the corners. So don't go right down into the corner. Just do your main your main bit there just starting sort of about there just going down to there and then you're just going to use your blade and you sorry my hands in the way and you're just going to follow it around like so and you're going to do that on all of the corners okay so pick up where you got to and then just follow it round it just needs to be slightly rounded that's all You can touch it up afterwards if need be. There we go. And do watch your fingers because it'd be awful to lose a finger. Right. So this is what we're left with now. Pretty good, I'd say. But I just need to get rid of the black lines. So I'm just cutting just on the inside. If you can see there, look. like so. so it's just making sure those black lines are gone so I'm just gonna take a little bit more off there and this isn't like I say a ruler let me bring it round I 
and normal wallpaper job. When you come to change your wallpaper, you can always peel the front off, but never the back. Uh, that's the same here. We've there we go. Right, I think that's. I'm very very pleased with that. So just make sure your corners are rounded. And there we go. And um, that looks good to me. So best of both worlds. I've got the heart, the flower there, and I've got the music there, which is actually an upside down music set. It's not no right way round. So put your blade somewhere safe and your knife, which I'm going to put them back in the drawer now. I don't want to catch them on my fingers with them. And just offer it up just to make sure that it fits. Remember, you don't want it to go all the way and too close because you're going to use washi tape just to stick it down. Okay. I think I need to just, if you can just see that, I just need to nip off a little bit this side to go in there. And then I think we're good enough. Good good to go to putting it in. It's a bit fiddly, but stick at it because it will make such a difference. Right, so first things we've got to do, put some tape on it. So here we go. Now like I did before, I'm going to go across the top here right underneath that nook okay and then right underneath the handle there you can see that I'll show you in a second okay if you can see that just so we can let's peel that bit off let's cut that off go for one just below it let's go for a thinner one I think because it will fit better again there's 16 rolls that I got two rolls of each and it just makes it a life a lot easier when you have oh this is one of my old rolls when you have different sizes because then you're not cutting them in half and, and doing I don't know what to them so if you can see that one see okay and I'm going to stick one in the middle there just below that, like so. <clears throat> I'm going to stick a larger one, one of my older rolls, or if you leave that or the one I've just used. Okay, we're going to stick that there, make sure it's nice. It won't matter if it overlaps a little bit because you're going to use washi tape down there anyway. Right, so I've just got to do this little bit here and this little piece here. And this stuff makes terrible sticky fingers if you were. Uh, stuck on your fingers and your, your your scissors and all that sort of thing you'll notice I'm ripping it most of the time because it makes your scissors so sticky I've had to cut this one look. and that one oh. yeah how many Walking Dead fans are out there now and what do you think of what they've done to the, the new season was since the Covid's been on? It was very disappointing to sit down on number two of the last season and uh, have nothing on. We were devastated. Devastated it was an understatement. But we was just pleased they'd done another season, if we're honest. So, right. So we're on. So we're going to peel it, so just peel them back, remember these ones we're not really worried about it, the front going up um, and down the sides and through the handle, because we're going to use our washi tape for that, 
hatred and this stuff. It just never works for me. Ah, there we go. No. I'm up to season four, rewatch again. I've watched it this whole season about. Oh my god, it must be four or five other times from start to finish. And I'm doing it again. It just doesn't seem to be anything else on lately. If anybody can think of a really good um, TV show, pop it in the comments below. Always up for something new. Well, I'm just picking this off. You could go down below and hit that subscribe button. That would be fantastic. Um, definitely worth doing. And I would appreciate it m massively. Um, I would be really, really, really honoured and very proud. Right, so this one, I'm, we're ready to go now. I've just peeled off all the ends. So it's all good to go, look. Now I'm going to have to lay it down like that for a second just so I can get it lined up. Okay, so you see how it's on there now? Just kind of rub it. This is really important because you do not want creases in this bit because you'll be able to see it and it will stand out like a sore thumb. So just rub it and stick it down. And then I stick, push mine onto the unit and just sort of push it from the inside. Okay. Right, now let's get rid of some of this rubbish. So we're going to use the washi tape. Oh, goodness me. I'll hit that every time I... So now we're going to use some washi tape on the edges. So firstly, I have this bit here. So I'm going to cut it, oh my goodness, halfway through, halfway through that bit. There, look, if you can see that there. And then we're going to play with that one in a minute and see what we can get, get it to stick. Well, well, we'll have a go now. So just make sure you've got the edges so they sort of are the same, like so. So I'm going to start by pushing it over the top, like so, and that bit down like that, and then I'm going to push it downwards. So what we got here? So I'm going to cut that off there, I think. If you're concerned about it at all afterwards, you could always run just one piece in that bit there. Okay, so we're going to do the same again. I'm going to go halfway in, marry, sort of marry up the height that you've you've worked worked with. Like so, and then cut it. Like so, fold it over, nice and tight. Make sure it's all stuck down. Before you go any further, do that bit and then stick that back bit down and I'm going to push it over like so. Now I'm not 100% happy with that because of the join in the middle so I will be putting, oh, see it's not going sticky now, there we go. I will be putting another piece in the middle there which I'm going to may as well do now. Now this is quite thick, so I'm just going to cut a piece off, get it to the same height as the other, otherwise it will look odd. doesn't matter if it goes the other direction. This is really fiddly, don't be, don't be put off by it. Kind of stick it in the middle there. 
then you're going to have to nip the side just a little bit and this side just a little bit <coughs> like so and just sort of bring it downwards and the same at the back which will be okay because this comes down lower here so just make sure it's well hold, sort of rubbed and held down well sort of stuck brilliant very happy okay so we're going to go around the side now you're going to make sure you've got it a nice bit stuck on there and then we're going to cut it off this is quite a thick tape normally I wouldn't use one this thick I would probably go a little bit thinner but I'm going to go make it sort of longer along the sides because that's where I've got all my tape so I want to try and hide as much of the tape as I can the masking tape I'm on about if you can see there look Gonna come along here. I don't want it ever so far into this bit, otherwise you lose the pattern as well on the card on the front. There we go. This bit's an easy one. See, so when you do pull the drawer out, you'll see. It won't all be masking tape, which you don't really want. It's not as, as elegant as you would like. Oh, we've got to do the inside of that handle yet as well. Not looking forward to that one. And that corner's folded over. So make sure when you do use it, it's all nice and straight. And you can sort of see what's, what's what. So... Let's stick up the edge like so. Make sure it's nice and stuck. And you're going to cut it like we did before. There we go. And we're going to pull it and stick. So it's hiding, hidden all that masking tape up that edges. So when you're putting in your and you're putting in the um, when you're putting in the comments what you do while you're doing it, tell me what music you listen to as well because I'm in, I'm intrigued to know. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to know. I listen to a little bit of all sorts. Right now, if you can see what we've done there. All I've done is stick the top bit on there, look. So we're going to do this in four parts. Bottom, sides, and then do the corners as you go. Okay, so you're going to just roll it in, pushing these corners into it, nice and tight. And then we're going to fold that up on the inside, if you can see it there. Like I said earlier on, it doesn't matter too much what the inside looks like. Obviously you want to try and keep it as tidy as you can. But if there's wrinkles and creases, it really doesn't matter. All you need to do is just go along and make sure that everything is stuck down. And stuck down well. Because that's very important. Where's that coming from? See, that's not stuck down well. So that's one edge, that's that side done. So it's the outside, you're going to make sure that everything is stuck down really nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to go and do the top edge, which I'll show you in a second. Really don't want it any longer than the edge of the 
Uh, what's that? Oh, I thought, oh no, it was not stuck. It was a piece that was stuck on me. Okay, so like that. Same as what we did before, and then push it down. Pushing it right into the corners. Right down into them corners. Like so. And then just turn it round and fold it downwards. Like so. So then you've got it flat on the inside both sides and that looks pretty good. So now we've just got the side bits to do. So we're going to do it exactly the same way. Just going to stick it on. Right, this is not going to be so easy because it is obviously a lot smaller. So trying to make sure it's straight is one really big... Th oh my goodness, I'm going to cut a slither off, a piece off because having the whole roller there is just really, and it's easier to work from left to right. So we might get the other end done out of this piece as well. So just bend it forward and cut, like so. Now that might be enough for the other end, let's have a look. Perfect. There we go. It looks like they were both made to, to measure, both made to fit. Okay, so you're going to push it into that corner again, into that corner. Okay, and the same again there, into the corners, right in, making sure it's sort of well, sort of stuck around the edges here. Everything's stuck down. <coughs> Always sort of have a look around. If you find a piece that keeps flapping up, um, stick it down, that's fine. Or cut it off. Okay, there we go. So that's that down, that end, and then this end, like so. So that is the entire front covered. I think that looks pretty good. Considering it was just a, a bit of a washi tape. Just going to nip that off. Just look around it and just see if there's any little bits that you're not happy with. That, like, cut, oh, sometimes you get them on the corners where they're just a little bit stuck up. Like that's just not going to work. So just trim it off. Like so. But other than that, I think everything works beautifully on there. Everything's stuck down well. And in there. Just rub over it. Make sure everything is nice and sort of stuck down. Right. So now's the time. There you go. Now look at that. Looks like a different box. You wouldn't even believe that it was the same box, would you? I think that looks really, really pretty. Okay, now look around it because I can see there's one piece here just on the corner here this bit here that you can just see a smidgen of cardboard which I'm one of those that don't like to miss any bits so I'm covering it over for a reason so all I'm going to do is just come along when I get this off my finger there we go and I'm just going to stick a piece on fold it over and then just Fold it in like you did before. Okay, so what am I going to keep in this box? I hear you say this one is for my numbers, my sticky numbers. So on the front of this box, I need to write numbers in numbers. So I need to see what colours we've got. Okay, let's push it out of the way. Now I've just brought a load of new ones. 
Oh, it's all fell out. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Right, these ones are the old ones. It's those ones you heard bonking because they just. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Those ones you heard bonking. I mean, when they fell out. Okay, so this is what we've got. I got all of these off of um, Amazon. I'm a big fan of Amazon. If you can see all of these, we've got some really nice patterns on. I meant bonking earlier on, by the way, by the noise. And I got all of these, all in one sort of one order. And they were like, I think they were seven or eight pounds. And that was for all of them. So what colour goes well? Gold always goes well with whatever. Some beautiful black ones, um, purple ones. Those ones might go well. Not those ones, not those ones. Not those ones, not those ones. Oh, they're nice. Right, so let me put those back over here. So let's have a look and see what colours sort of work with this. The darker colours. Yeah, they workish, but they're a bit. Those ones. They would work, wouldn't they? All gold. Gold always works. So I think maybe I might go with gold. might get lost that's my trouble okay let's go with the gold ones I think we're on to a winner with that one so we are going to get them out of the packs and see how many of each letter we've got Chuck that in the bin. so we've got S I was trying to put letters, yeah. So that's. I always write it down. I use my notebook. Okay, so. Letter stickers. So, one, two S. Um, so you have to make and um, um, work out how many you need of each one. So E's, we need three to make sure you've got enough. Uh, TT, so that's T's three, TT, T. So that's all of letter, so one. C one and a kicking car one and an R one. Okay, so we need two S's. Um, two S's. A couple of small S's as well. One L, it's gonna have one L. Three E's. Right, see how we've only got two. And a big one. Um, I'm just trying to think if we could word it another way. Do we just write letters on there? Yeah, let's just do letters, I think. We'll do it along the top. Then that way I know we'll have enough. So I'm going to start it along this top piece here. So let's start with a capital L. If 
we do it in the middle, like so. And E, I want a little E, like so. My ones, my letters are so old, it's been, they've been there for years and they don't stick very well anymore. So it's nice to have a sticky one. Right, I'm going to get my tweezers out because it's easier to control when you're putting them. And you see that one's skewy. So I'm just going to pull it back off. And then we're just going to straighten that up. That's better. Um, two T's. Go down just a little bit. I always hold my breath. I said this before, one day I'm going to pass out. T. Another T. Both the E's used now. See how? See what I mean? They they go so quickly, and sometimes you don't manage to write all the words you want to, and you get left with a load of random like numbers and letters. So do be aware of that, and, and use them if you can. I always do a, a bit of a a spot around, so they've got loads of different kinds in one word. I think that looks pretty cool. Or I give them to my daughter to play with. She likes them. There we go. That looks pretty good. Could have done with it in the middle a little bit better, but I don't think for the one most of it it's not that bad. So see how that says letters. So when it's up on the shelf like that, I can see it and I know exactly what's in there, all my letters. It's a shame because they need one wanting to write sticky. I suppose I could write sticky in a different word. Sticker. We have S. So we need T's left. S. T. I. C. K. E. We could do it more in capitals. I'll take that S off. And it says letter. Put that back on there. different day and then we use it all in capitals and write it underneath letter stickers so what we're going to do is to start it down here yes. <clears throat> when you're doing this sort of thing you've got to kind of be open-minded and a little bit sort of think outside the box I straighten that tea up a bit. I mean, you don't have to buy boxes off of um, anywhere really. You can have a look. Shoe boxes work beautifully. They are just as good. I have a couple of shoe boxes already that I've done. Um, a quick video I think I did was my last one, and that was. Uh, a box that was a Beats headphone box I used. 
I've got so much storage now though I don't know really what to put in it all. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare but I love it but I shall never be short on storage again thanks to my new desk which is absolutely fantastic and if you want to have a little look at that look closer on I'm going to once I've finished doing all my boxes and everything um, I'm going to do a walk round um, nice and slow walk round of everything that I've got everything we've done there'll be other boxes that I'm going to do videos on and there's some other bits and bobs that I'm going to do some videos on that I'm going to show you um, which you'll be able to see so do hit that subscribe button um, your support is absolutely overwhelming thank you so much for everything um, my best friend Lucy she's just out of colour um, she's amazing um, and there you go okay so letter stickers that's better isn't it okay so I'm going to put those in there so we don't lose them and I've got some stickers to go on the tops of these ones oh. now I also ordered these off of Amazon I have to find them, bear with me. I don't know why I haven't already found them out. This is in a different box that I've got all my um, embellishments in, stick of embellishments. What on earth have I done with them? There they are. Right. I'm just going to move that to one side for a minute and just show you. I got these off of Amazon, I think they were £4.99. Um, I've just ordered some more in the, in the floral range but look at these they are absolutely amazing I mean just that alone you could use that that cardboard back in you could use something to go on one of the boxes or something you could utilize that but look at these you peel them off and they're almost pretty much instantly see-through which I thought was a really beautiful idea there are so many you've got birds um, names of people, places, but it's the same sort of what I thought really. Hands, well, I said gloves, hands. Um, was it's the same sort of thing, it's the same kind of design as what the wallpaper is originally. So, if I just show you the clocks, there's bird cage with birds in. And there's some really odd stuff. I mean, this is a lady's head with a bird's body, with flowers coming out of them, and all sorts of very strange things. But I like strange things like that. That's that's pretty much who I am. Very uh, steampunky. That's that way. I'm just trying to show you some of the things that are in there. I think that's a heart. I'm not entirely sure. Um, birds. There is so much stuff. There's arrows. There's these are beautiful, kind of musically, which would be beautiful on um, the part where we managed to to get that music um, music line. Then you've got magpies or birds of a kind um, look at that isn't that beautiful so that's one that I'm going to use today um, I'd like to use one of these square birds and maybe the birds on the line as well just make it kind of a bit florally kind of and see if we can figure out where we're going to put all of these to start with. Oh, and there's this one, which is absolutely stunning. Which I might use somewhere on the top, or maybe on the side. But the good thing about these is you can just put them where you want to put them, and then just see if it works. So, like, for the right now, move all those back. I quite like the rose one to go on the side here. But it's no good if it doesn't fit. And that right now 
doesn't really fit. Is there anything a little bit smaller? There's a lady stood there. There's another kind look. These really are worth getting. They really are lovely. Um, with that, was I looking for that? That works, doesn't it? Right, okay, so I've never stuck any of these before. So I assume you just peel them off. Like so. Beautiful. They really are pretty. So on the top, I really would like one of the roses. Now try and keep it, you've got to be a little bit careful here because the wall the wrap the paper that we've used is coming down this way. So you want to try and keep it in line with I might just use that in the middle. I don't think it really needs much more than that. Um, if you can sort of know where you can get any more of this sort of thing, um, do let me know because I like this sort of thing. Um, and I would like to order some more. Like I say, I've just ordered the floral set, which are absolutely stunning as well. They should be here in the next couple of days. Now try and make sure out of everything you've got the skull straight on this one. Because the skull is the one that's the part of it, like so. There, it doesn't matter about the rest of the sticker. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, really, really lovely. Right, folks, I'm going to go because my battery light is flashing. Um, so, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below and not miss another program or a video that I release again. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.